Hey guys, happy Monday. I can't believe that it's week nine and I wish that I was spending these special days with you in the classroom, but we cannot do that right now. So I'm just eagerly waiting my love and all the hugs that I'll be getting in the beginning of next school year from you guys. So today I thought we would do something special since if we were in the classroom right now, we would be learning all about the ocean animals, sharks, whales, crabs, seahorses, all of those types of things. So I thought we would read a book called Clark the Shark to kind of celebrate that time we would be spending if we were in the classroom. Here we go. Ooh, and I see a school bus. More like a school boat in my opinion. In all the wide blue seas, in all the wide blue world, the top school for fish was Theodore Roosterfish Elementary. And of all the fish at Theodore Roosterfish, the biggest and strongest was Clark the Shark. Clark loved school and he loved his teacher, Mrs. Inky Dink. He loved to play upsy downsies and spin him a jig with his friends. Clark loved his life. School is awesome, shouted Clark the Shark. Um, less shouting, more reading, said Mrs. Inky Dink. Lunchtime is sweet, yelled Clark the Shark. Lunch on your own lunch, said his best friend, Joey Mackerel. Recess rocks, bellowed Clark the Shark. Um, you are playing rough, Clark, cried the other kids. Yes, Clark loved his life and all of his sharky heart, but he loved everything way too much. He was too loud, he was too wild, he was just too much shark for the other fish to handle. After a while, no one would play with shark. No one ate lunch with him, no one sat with him at circle time. Even his best friend Joey Mackerel said, cool your jets, shark, you're making me crazy. One day, Clark asked Mrs. Inky Dink, what's wrong with everyone? Mrs. Inky Dink just patted his fin. Clark, sometimes you play too hard. You lunch too hard, and gosh, you even help too hard. But Clark just said, gosh, but life is so exciting. And Mrs. Inky Dink said, well, there's a time and a place for everything, and sometimes the rule is stay cool. And that's what she wrote on the board, stay cool. At recess, Clark tried to stay cool, but he pushed the swing with too much swing. Sorry, said Clark, I forgot. Yikes, cried Joey Mackerel. At lunch, Clark tried to stay cool, but everything smelled so good that he munched a bunch of lunches. Sorry, said Clark, I forgot. We're starving, said his friends. In class, Clark tried to stay cool, but a good book got him all shook up. Now, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink, this isn't the time or the place. Tell me, what's the rule? Stay cool, said Clark. Hey, that rhymes, he said. Then Clark got a big idea in his sharky head. Maybe if I make a rhyme, I'll remember every time, he thought. The next day, he put his plan to work. In class, when lessons got exciting, Clark wanted to bounce up out of his seat. Instead, he told himself, when teacher's talking, don't go walking. And what do you know? It worked. Attaboy, Clark, said Mrs. Inky Dink. Clark smiled. Lessons are fun. At lunch, everything smelled so yummy. When Clark wanted to eat and eat and never stop, he told himself, only munch my own lunch. And it worked again. Way to go, Clark, said his friends. And Clark grinned. Lunch is fun. At playtime, Clark told himself, easy does it. That's the way. Then my friends will let me play. The plate and playtime was fun. Once more, Clark just loved his life.
But then a shadow fell across the playground, a ginormous shadow with tentacles galore. It's a new kid and he looks scary, cried Joey Mackerel. Swim for your lives. The squid squashed the slide and snapped off the swings. Oops, my bad, said the new kid. Wait, said Clark. Hey, he just wants to play. Let's find a way. And he swam at the new kid with all his might. Clark played harder than he had ever played before. Upsy downsies and spin him a jig. Why, he even made up a new game, Tail Wumpalumpus. Wow, that was fun, said the new kid, breathless. And he settled down. If you want to come to school, you've got to stay cool, said Clark. That's right, Clark, said Mrs. Inkydink, and thanks for taking care of our new classmates, said the squid. Hooray for Clark the shark, everyone cheered. That night, Clark's mother asked, what did you learn at school, dear? There's a time and a place for everything, Clark said. Sometimes you have to stay cool. But sometimes a shark's got to do what a shark's got to do. And that is the end of our book today, Clark the Shark. So I hope you enjoyed it, everybody. And I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.